welcome back to another episode of Diamonds the Outdoors. Today we are hunting Springbuck. The first hunt takes place the second morning of our eight day safari and it was pretty fast. We got into the hunting area and we immediately spotted a very nice shooter ram. We stopped the vehicle, I got out and took the shot. See the one uh, with four there? Yep. See the one standing facing to the right? Wait, there's one behind me. The only one facing to the right. He's just turned to the left. He's number four. Jesus, you can shoot my mate. On the last day of our eight day hunt, I received the, the unique opportunity to harvest a second spring buck, as long as it was a cull animal, and I immediately jumped on it. The day before, I had harvested my beautiful kudu bull, so I was still, you know, riding that high from harvesting that amazing animal. So, who wouldn't want to go out after a second spring buck? Stocking in on this springbuck herd was everything I wanted out of a African safari on foot. Um, you know, it was really cool. We were, you know, sneaking bush to bush, trying to utilize the terrain for cover the best we could. The herd numbered somewhere close to 20 animals, so with that many eyes and ears watching for you you definitely have to work to get within rifle range and this hunt had it all I just really really enjoyed this stock and you gotta love how close spring buck hunting is to in the states pronghorn antelope hunting they both look similar they have very similar colors and due to their excellent eyesight and the terrain they're in it is definitely challenging to get up within rifle range of them.
had these springbuck were just moving in and out of the brush in front of us and we just couldn't get a shot at the ram because they were just always fading in and out there was always a brush between me and the ram or there was a doe right behind it or in front of it or it was just sitting there lots of patience trying to you know wait for just the right shot and hope the wind doesn't change and spook them after being perfect wind all morning we got up within a hundred yards of them and the wind changed on us and they spooked out of there Sick from the back of this hole. Yeah. He's really smoking. Sick from the back. Shot. Great shot. It's going down. I wouldn't put another one in. He's going down. isn't based off of the size of the horns or a measurement that goes in a book. For me, a trophy is something that I took away from a hunt, um, experience, uh, like being in the moment. And for me, this cull spring buck was the best trophy out of it. The thing was beautiful, I had a great hunt, beautiful country, and it was a great animal to end this uh, eight day safari on. Couldn't be happier with the experience I took away from it. I met some great people, came away with new friends, and this was the realization of a lifelong dream to visit Africa. The accommodations, hunting with Nick Boker, were just outstanding. The food was great, the company was amazing, and like I said, you know, just leave with lifelong friends. Here is Nick Boker's information if you're interested in booking your own hunt with him. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you on the next one.